Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think Maps is going to... I mean, Maps had his shit as a gritty time last year. He didn't change it. I mean, but, but he fucks with just, Justin Jefferson. So I think Maps is going to go with Justin Jefferson for sure. I don't know if... Um, Gary right here will go with Jamar Chase. We'll see. I mean, Tyreek's not a bad a bad choice, bro. I think I think Tyreek Hill's gonna dog this year, but you just you never know. But I mean, I got high hopes for him. Uh, I'm not taking Travis Kelsey like that soon. Austin Eckler is a good pick, low key. Stephon Diggs as always. Um, I I don't think I'd reach for McCaffrey yet. I think. I'm going to start off the bat with a receiver. So, the question is, though, if the, these two get take. Christian McCaffrey, if I don't get it, I don't know if that's a good choice, dude. Everybody's just, like, double back this year, you know? Like, I don't know if that's going to be the right choice. I'm thinking I'm I'm thinking that the receivers are gonna fly off this list real fast, cause these two are gonna go. And if I took Tyreek, I feel like you know maybe some of these will go, but I think you know our receivers right here are gonna go really fast. I think I think the backs are just crazy, dude. It's just a different game. RBs win leagues, yeah. But the problem is, is like everybody's like in a double back system now, so like. There's no star. There's no star running back. Uh, I mean, it's like what they did with uh Nick Chubb and what's his name on the on the fucking Browns for years. Uh, what's that motherfucker's name? I can't remember his name. But uh, I mean, everybody's just a a double back system. I mean, if I if I do get it back, uh, I mean, obviously. I think McCaffrey's still good. I think I want to get a receiver off the back off the bat though, because like I think the receivers are gonna fly. There's a lot of young guys that are gonna be good this year too, and a lot of sleepers. I think I'll be able to like get late. Like I think a huge sleeper is gonna be. Um, I mean, Gibbs is probably gonna be a good pick for Detroit. Uh, Najee Harris. He didn't have a great season last year. So I feel like he might be slept on a little bit. Um, this guy right here, Alexander Madison, he's now the star since Dalvin Cook's out. So I think he'll be a sleeper too. Uh, just because his name's not like huge because Dalvin's been the star for years. So I think, I, but he's a, he's been explosive every time Dalvin was like injured. So I think that might be a sleeper. And that's what, rank 62 for a pick. So we'll see, we'll see. I got Bijan and Gibbs in my league. I did, I did a, another league, and I like flourished with my backs, and I also had great receivers. Um, but we're gonna see. The problem is, is I do have the third pick, but then I don't have another pick for fucking what seven seventeen rounds. I think that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen rounds. Okay, fifteen rounds until my next pick. So that's gonna be tough. So you know, I'm look. I'm gonna be in this area, which we'll see. Cooper Cup could be a sleeper, bro. That could be a sleeper pick. I mean, he's a dog. Cooper Cup is great. Here we go. Off the bat, Will Maps. On the pick. Who's he going with? Who's he going with? Hate being number one. Way too many players. Dude, it's tough. It's tough, but there's a minute on the clock he's got to choose. And if it's me, hey, this is a tough pick. I don't, I don't know if Justin Jefferson will have as an explosive year this year. I think uh, I like Jamar Chase over Justin Jefferson. I'm not hating this Tyreek uh, Hill pick, so I think I, I'm going to probably end up going with that. I think it's a good choice. I know in some leagues people are going McCaffrey off the bat, but I don't know. Cup might be out. 
I I just saw some. He said he's supposed to be out there. Maps building a lot of intensity about his first pick. I'll have to double double check on that for me. Double check on Cooper Cup. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be good to clear because they have they have J JT like still kind of injured in here. All right, yeah, there we go. See all that time didn't go for JJ. Yep. All right, so we got uh trash on the clock because nobody fucking changed their names yet from last season and the bullshit. I'm guessing he's gonna go to Jamar Chase, but he might not. We'll see. He might surprise me. Do something else. He could go. He could reach for McCaffrey. You know, some people, some people uh, do want the backs off the bat. I think, I think, uh, running wide receiver is gonna be the move this year for football. That's that's my guess. But McCaff I mean, McCaffrey is gonna be a great pick. Yep, there he goes, McCaffrey. Damn, your team right. is now so, on the clock. I mean, I, that's what we wanted. Jamar Chase stayed in, so we're gonna go for him. I think. That the 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 Bengals are gonna make a, a good uh go about it this year. Jamar Chase should dog. I kinda really like Tyreek though. I feel like Tyreek's gonna have an explosive season for some reason. I just got a feeling. But I could be wrong, you know. We'll see. But I'm I gotta I'm gonna go with Jamar Chase. W. It's Devon Housen. What's good? Random username. Alright. So what do we got? Justin Jefferson, Christian McCaffrey, and I just drafted Jamar Chase. Got fourth pick on the clock. Um, so we got 15 picks till I get my next ones. Yeah, so around this area, if Josh Jacobs is there, I'm taking Josh Jacobs. Every single year I watch him, he's just so good. And he had a great freaking season last season. Like, I just think he's going to either... I think he'll have the same season as last year. You know, explosive or not, like, he's been great for fantasy the last couple of years. So, I like him. Uh, Derrick Henry, obviously, going to get the workload right here. Uh, Receivers-wise, I don't know who's going to stay in. I mean, these three right here could be a force to reckon with. I don't know. I mean, honestly, Devontae, though, uh, he... He might be a move. He could be a move. Had a good day, mate. Yeah, I had a good day. Uh, actually, I uh, played some golf today. Me and uh, me and Will Maps went out. And we played some golf. I beat him by five strokes. I shot a hundred today. Not, not not my best, but I haven't been out as much, so a hundred's not bad. So Travis Kelsey. I feel like Travis Kelsey like is good, but like it's a reach for that early to me. Like, it's just not worth. Like, yes, he's the best tight end to maybe ever do it. But, I don't know. Off the bat, like, that early, he's getting old. Is he going to get the same, you know, reps? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Travis Kelsey's eventually got to start slowing down. But maybe not. I mean, he's a fucking great player. I mean, my probably the best tight end to ever do it, in my opinion. I don't, I don't know. I feel like that's a... Like, fourth pick, like, I feel like that's a reach. Travis is a good pick. I don't... It's not that he's a bad pick. I think it might be an early pick. So, if I have number four, like, I don't think I'm going for him. Like, they're passing on Tyreek right now, and I think that's crazy. I don't, I don't think... I think passing on Tyreek... Like, he's the fastest player in the game. Meaning, he's gonna get open. Like... You just, you just can't beat that. I mean, Diggs is a good pick. I think C.D. Lamb might have a bigger year this year. I, not that he had a bad year last year, but I feel like he's going to have a lot bigger of a year this year too. So I think C.D. Lamb might be a sleeper. Tony Pollard obviously going to step it up unless Zeke starts to like show up, which he did not last year. He's terrible last year. Monse Brown, pretty young guy. Had a great season last year. Uh, I think he's only going to come up as well. Um, but yeah, oh, I mean, overall... Kelsey maybe should be going around here. Around the last three of the first ten. That's that's what I got for them. Austin Eckler just goes off the board. Okay. So that's the second running back to go. Uh, three receivers down, two running backs, and one tight end. 
We'll see how we'll see how Isaiah goes right here. He his name is Injuries Incorporated because uh, last year his whole team pretty much got injured. That's happened to him a few years in a row now. So he's had a bad luck about it. So we'll see who he's got his eye on. My guess is for him, uh, he's got to go Diggs or Hill, but he might reach for a back. I don't know. I know he likes his running backs. Yep, and there he, did, there he goes, Tony Pollard. So reach on the backs. So we still got a lot of good shit up here. I don't think this shit's going to uh, – it's not going to make it to me, though. I feel like I'm going to end up with Josh Jacobs, which I like. That's a good pick. Um, and just, and maybe then if I get down here for my next pick, cause it's like damn near back to back, I might be reaching for either Waddle or Cup, I, depending on their states. I got to check this out real fast. Um, recent setback. Yeah, that's not good news. That's not good news. It's questionable. So it's kind of a reach. Uh, I could always go for a quarterback. Obviously, Mahomes. Maybe Josh Allen, but I'm, I'm Mahomes all the way. Got to go for it. Terry Kill just got those off the board. Josh Jacobs off the board. So Julie's, uh, Julie's reaching way down for the back. So backs are getting taken. So I definitely probably do want to back. But yet again, I'm not like completely like scared yet. I'm going to go to bed. Have a good one, random username. Hope you have a great night, bro. So backs are going to get taken. We'll see. I, Which might leave me some receivers. Then again, I do have to wait for them to it, to snake around, which kind of sucks. You know, it's nice to get the like first initial pick. But honestly, I feel like the best picks are these three right here. Seven, nine, and ten are like the best spots. Because, I don't know. I mean, they have to wait too. Maybe, maybe it's just an opinion thing. I don't know. Once you see a little bit get taken, you kind of know how to work with, right? So that, that I, that's kind of the advantage. Saquon Barkley gets taken by Aces, but Aces is back to back. So I'm guessing right here he's going to go for a receiver. And if I guess Aces, he's probably going to go CD Lamb. That's my guess. I got him going CD Lamb, but he could go Dicks. He could go Dicks, but I got him. I got him taking a receiver right here. Nitty gritty. Take it to time. I guarantee he's debating the two right now. CD Lamb called it. Did I not call it, chat? I just know my boy Woe Aces. Uh, CD Lamb all day. I just, I just had a feeling. I just had a feeling. Just had a feeling. Just had a feeling. Give me one second. Let me uh search this shit up. Where's my? Okay, okay, call, 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 call. Okay, okay. Derrick Henry gets reached. Okay. So we got Ryan with Tyree Kill and Derrick Henry. There goes Stephon Diggs. I like it. Josh Jacobs and Stephon Diggs. All right, so we're kind of reaching down. Uh, I might go for another receiver. I don't think I'm going to go for a back yet. Uh, I, I kind of like Amon St. Brown. We got some questionable players here. Uh, Nick Chubb, obviously still a great choice, I, which I might actually have to do. It, it might be tough. Might be tough. Might be tough. Chat, what are we thinking? What are we thinking? I think I want to get a receiver. I, th I think that's the move. There's a lot of backs still. Okay. So there goes Cooper Cup. Alrighty. Isaiah. Re taking a reach on Cooper Cup. I just saw. I just read that he wasn't doing too well. So hopefully uh, that doesn't come to bite him in the ass. But I kind of like it. You know, he's a dog if he's healthy. Mixing it up. Already has Austin Eckler. Let's see if we go for a back or running back. Not too familiar on what their play style will be. They might go for a back early on. Still some good backs. Oh, plenty, plenty of good backs. I think my move is to go for a receiver, though. We got a lot, lot of ride receivers went. Good amount of running backs. And then I could pick a running back right here, you know? 
I think I think I want to get my star two. Let me uh. When's my buy? So I got a buy week seven. So I, I I do want to draft a receiver that doesn't have a buy on week seven. So Gus Wilson, I I'm not really looking to draft. Devontae Adams is interesting. I can't remember. If, I don't think he already went to the um Packers, but if he does, like that's crazy. Let me let me Google this shit because I know he was talking about it. If Devontae goes to the the not the Packers, if he goes to the Jets, uh, he's gonna be incredible. I don't think he did though. Current team, yeah, Las Vegas Raiders. If he's on the Raiders, I don't think he flourishes that well. But if he goes to the Jets, which there was talk about it, because I know he wants to play with Rodgers, I don't know if he'll actually... There he goes. So there goes Devontae Adams. I think that's a reach. If he's on the Jets or goes to the Jets with Rodgers, you know, that's awesome. If he's Raiders, I don't think he has, like, an incredible season. He did not last year. So there goes Robinson. Another running back. I am next up. Let's see who's going to get snagged for me. Uh, I'm probably going to go with Waddle or Chubb. Maybe Amon St. Brown, though. We'll see. And this is interesting because he chose the tight end. So he does not have a wide receiver or a running back. So this is what I'm talking about. Nobody's taking tight ends. It's nice to get Kelsey because he's a top tier. But, like, it's tough because... All these running backs and receivers are getting taken off the rip. And you've got a tight end, and now you don't have a running back or wide receiver. That's why I say Kelsey is a stretch pick, in my in my opinion. We'll see what he does. We'll see what he does. If it's me, I don't know. Uh, my guess is that he's going to go with a running back. Taking a lot of time thinking about it. Your team is now on the clock. Monse Brown goes down. All right. So we got a wide receiver. This is tough. Uh, you know, quarterbacks are proud to start going too. But I don't know. I'm kind of not worried about my my uh, my quarterback yet. I don't think I want to like reach for Allen or Mahomes or anything like that. I'm thinking Waddle or Nick Chubb. By week five, I think I'm going to go with Chubb. I think that's the move. Maybe Waddle makes it to me. I doubt it. If he doesn't, I might go... I'll probably go for my quarterback. If Waddle makes it, I get him. If not, I'm going to go and pick my quarterback. So there goes Waddle. <laughs> right when I say that. It was tough. It was tough not to choose Waddle. It was one of the two. Maybe I should have read that, but I don't know. I kind of wanted them both. And I feel like if I took Waddle... He might have took Chubb, but he could have went for somebody else because he needed a wide receiver. Didn't have a wide receiver yet. But it's tough. You know, he he it would have gotten back around. So it, it could have just been either way around. Whoa, Maps on the clock. He's going to go with Chris Alave, wide receiver on the Saints. Let's see if they have a good season this year. Back-to-back -back picks, though. He's got two wide receivers in. I like it. Kind of jumping, reaching down there. But it might be the move. Might be time to wait for a quarterback. It's tough. You know, Gus Wilson could be good, but he does have a bye week seven. And since I already have a bye week seven on Jamar Chase, it's kind of scary to me. So I don't know if that's going to be the move. Uh, Calvin Ridley, I don't really like him as a player, so I don't really want to get him. I don't know why he's ranked that high on the list, to be honest. Uh, T. Higgins, it'd be tough because both week seven. Uh, Devontae Smith, Amari Cooper, DK Metcalf, probably a good-ass pick down there. I'm not even a cap. But it's still a reach. Um, I might start uh, having everybody uh, get these quarterbacks going. 
I think I think that might be the move. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Mahomes. I mean, unless he gets taken right here. If it, I mean, to be honest, they could set the tone with the quarterbacks right here. Boom, like Josh Allen, Jalen Hurts, Patrick Mahomes, and everybody else is gonna freak the fuck out. It'll scare him to get quarterbacks, which is nice. It's kind of what I want. Aaron Jones. Interesting. So, first back for Maps is Aaron Jones. This is a good pick, a sleeper pick. Aaron Jones performs pretty much every year. Uh, great pick. Great pick. I like it. Gibbs still on there. Ramondre Stevenson had a great year last year. Let's see how he does. Reach, but need an RB. Yeah. I agree. I agree. I agree. There's still so many uh, running backs, though. I'm just not worried about that. I'm more curious about my receivers. I feel like I might go for... Uh... Damn, this is tough, man. I might go for DK Metcalf. But then again, maybe not, you know? QB might be the move. But maybe not. You know, I mean, the problem is, is like, you could get a top, I could get a top tier QB right now. Or I could wait and see if like somebody else performs, you know, that's what I did last year. And, you know, it usually works out, you know, you want to get at least like 20, 25 points with your quarterback. And, you know, there's some sleepers like Geno Smith down here, like dog last season. Your team is now on the Mark clock. Mark Andrews. So reaches for a tight end. This is interesting. This is interesting. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do right now. I don't know what I'm going to do. What do I got? I got one back, one wide receiver. I'm feeling the need to go for a wide receiver. I'm feeling the need. I'm feeling like DK Metcalf might be the move. Devontae Smith, you know, he's a dog, but he's still sharing thunder. Uh, Debo could perform pretty damn well. Uh, but DK Metcalf's like all the power. I mean, you got Tyler Lockett, but fuck. I, I, actually, he might have retired, I think. No, no, he's still there. Okay. But DK Metcalf, you know, Seahawks. Hmm. This is fucking tough, dude. I don't hate Amari Cooper either. Gus Wilson has Rodgers on him now. But I think that might be overhyped. I think I'm going to go DK Metcalf. That's a tough pick. That's a tough pick. I don't know if I, I if I made the right choice, but we're going for it. The problem is, is there's just so many backs, dude. And I already, I already got, I already got one. So I got Nick Chubb, right? But like, there was a lot of, lot of sleepers. You know, we know uh, Gibbs is a rookie. You know, high intentions for him, but we don't know how well he's gonna do. Ramondi Stevenson had a great year last year. Uh, Brees Hall sharing the backfield with Dalvin Cook. Damian Pierce decent year last year. Najee might turn it around. Steelers got a buff to their O line, so that could be incredible. Could be a sleeper right there. Joe Mixon as always. Kenneth Walker having a great year last year. Not sure what we can expect out of Jonathan Taylor right now. Alexander Madison's definitely going to be a sleeper. And then just deep, deep, deep in here, you know, we got James Conner down here, and I think he's going to be, you know, pretty good on Arizona. Uh, Alvin Kamara suspended. That's tough. Dalvin Cook, they got way down here, so they got him below. Gibbs, there he goes. Gibbs just got taken. Uh, that's tough. So, I mean... Yeah, I mean, right about at David Montgomery and Swift is uh, where it's going to get tough. Swift might be a great pick this year. I, I feel like he might turn it up, but th that it's going to be deep into the draft. But now that I got my receivers out of the way, uh, I think that's good. I, I could reach for another receiver too. I could do that. But depending. I'm probably going to What's probably going to happen is on my next pick, I'm going to end up needing a quarterback. 
and then I might get another receiver. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So Calvin Ridley just got taken by Joe. I don't really like Calvin Ridley. He had the accusations and stuff with betting on himself or whatever. And that's a sus as a player, and I don't really mess with that. I want a player that... I want to draft somebody that's there to play the game. I mean, he's incredible at the game. But, like, just as a person, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of Calvin Ridley. So I didn't really want that on my team. Uh, I want somebody there who just loves the game and wants to be the best. You know, not worried about money or anything else. I, I just don't like him as personality. So, you know, I had a pass on Calvin Ridley. DK Metcalf, I mean, he's just a, he's going to be a dog, right, in Seattle. He has been a dog in Seattle. It was kind of a reach, but I like it. Uh, tight ends. Uh, we'll probably get that somewhere down here on my 7th or 8th pick is what I'm thinking I'm going to get a tight end. But we'll see. You never never, never know how it goes. TJ Watkins, uh, Hawkinson is probably going to be good. Uh, Darren Waller, you know, great quarterback. Kyle Pitts might turn it up this year. Uh, I think Ninjoku did good. He had a few injuries last year. Pat Fryermuth, I like him rookie season. Uh, not like extraordinary points, but he's, you know, he's a big guy. Uh, I think I'm also a Steelers fan, so it's kind of tough for me. So I probably might get him as a sleeper down there. Somebody just went off the board. T Higgins gets taken. Joe Mixon gets taken. So that was tough too. You know, T Higgins could have been a great pick for me, but I already have Jamar Chase. And they both share the same body because they're on the same team. So I feel like that would have been a bad pick for me because I don't want to have week seven come and then I'm just weak. I don't want to be a weak team. Uh, so right now we got week week seven for our one receiver. We got week five for a running back. And then week five for DK Metcalf. Travis and Tante gets taken. That would be interesting to see how he performs. I mean, it's a double back system now. So I don't know if he'll get as much reps because they got a... Uh... No, maybe they didn't. I thought they picked some some uh, rookie up this year. Maybe they didn't. I might be thinking... I think I thought, I'll stick it with somebody else. Gus Wilson gets taken. I like it. It's a bit of a reach. I mean, Rodgers is one of the GOATs. Will he perform this year? I don't know. Time will tell. You know, is he going to go out with a bang or is he going to go out old? Uh, and especially, you know, I would love to see Devontae Adams go to the go to the Jets. So if that happens, that could hurt his reps. But, yeah, also that shared the same buy as Justin Jefferson or uh, Jamar Chase. So I didn't want to get him. So Kenneth Walker, I like it from Aces. Great pick, sl sleeper pick, to be honest. I was hoping he was going to last longer, so that's kind of scary to me. Uh, that's two backs down from him, though. I think he's going to go with a receiver right here. My guess is that he will pick... It could go quarterback, though. My guess is that he goes with either Amari Cooper, he might go Devontae Smith, or he might go Keenan Allen. He's one of these three, you know? I got a good feeling. He could reach for Debo, though. He could, he could reach down here. But I feel like Ace is actually probably go with Amari Cooper. That's my guess. That's my guess. He could reach. Debo Samuel. I told you, I had a feeling. I thought he might. You know, it's a great pick. It's a great pick. Debo is a dog. Sleeper, sleeper, sleeper wide receiver. I kind of thought about reaching that far, but I feel like DK Metcalf might have been a better pick. It might not have been. Uh, that's what it shows, though. So, let's see. We got Ryan on the clock. He's got two wide receivers, so he could reach for a quarterback right here, or he might stick with the running backs. You know, running backs are indeed starting to fly off the table. I definitely need to get a running back now, I think. Uh, more running backs got taken in that drive. I, I was expecting it to kind of not go that way, but it, it, it that's, that's the way it went. That's the way the cookie crumbled. I was honestly hoping uh, people would sleep on Kenneth Walker, and they did not. All right, look at my running backs.
Who just got taken? Another back? Damien Pierce gets taken. Okay. So that's another back down. Texans might be good this year. We'll see how it plays. Uh, Damien Pierce uh, showed some some strong running last year. Uh, he might He might have a good year. I'm only three picks in chat, and a lot of players are getting taken. This is getting tough. No quarterback taken yet. Two tight ends taken. Mark Andrews from Gary on his third pick. I feel like is a reach, uh, but maybe not. I mean, Mark Andrews is a dog, but I think these tight end picks are a reach. I think, uh, you know, Foops Troops right now, based off his picks, uh, is not looking too hot. I mean, Kelsey is a dog. Uh, I like Gary's team more. I think he's got a little more power there compared to Foop's troops. Uh, but it's tough. Reaching for a tight end as early is tough. You know, it's tough like to like not draft somebody that high quality. But like when look every, besides them two, it's wide receiver and running back. You know, like it's flying off the shelf. So now they each only have one running back and one wide receiver, you know. They just got a little less leg on the competition. But they do have their tight end, and everybody's going to have to do that eventually. So Devontae Smith gets taken there by Julie. So she's got a good team. I'm liking her team right now. She's got Josh Jacobs, Travis and Tante, Stephon Diggs, and Devontae Smith. Uh, that's pretty strong. Isaiah right here uh, got some good running backs, Joe Mixon, Tony Pollard. Uh, I feel like Joe Mixon's a little more injury prone, but he's still a great running back. Cooper Cup also was a risk, but he's likely to return eventually in dog. Uh, right now, I feel like my favorite team that isn't mine is probably going to be Aces. Aces probably is the best team going on right now, in my opinion. I mean, you got Saquon Barkley, dogged last year. Kenneth Walker, dogged last year. C.D. Lamb, C.D. Lamb. Dog, going to do better this year, in my opinion. I think he's going to do better. Debo Samuel, going to dog this year. I think Aces is the best team right now. Uh, I don't dislike my team. Maybe I could have waited. Maybe I could have went for Kenneth Walker. I was kind of hoping he was a sleeper because I think he's going to have an explosive season. But I like Aces' team right now. So Isaiah's going to pick up Josh Allen. That's our first quarterback getting taken right now. I like it. Josh Allen, obviously a dog. Uh... He's got an offense around him. He's going to make plays. He's going to make moves. And he's going to scramble. He's going to be a great, uh, great, great quarterback uh, for your fantasy team. Has been in the last several years. Great pick. So this is tough because now I think uh, that he drafted uh, Josh Allen. That uh, these next couple of picks are going to be quarterback. At least two or two out of the three of them will be quarterbacks in my opinion. I'm calling it that Foops Troops, uh, they reach for a quarterback. Even though it's kind of tough because they got their tight end right now. And they, they're they kind of short on the other two. Uh, right here, I don't know. I think Mahomes goes in one of these one of these uh, picks right here. Maybe Hurts as well. I don't know. But I, I'm expecting Mahomes to go uh, right here now that a quarterback's been taken. That's just how it goes. You know, once somebody snags it, people get nervous and they want to start picking their quarterbacks. Especially if a uh, quarterback gets taken right here, you know. And it's just going gonna, gonna to start the train for quarterbacks. But and until it like gets like yeah I can wait, but for those top tier ones you know, I don't like Lamar. I'm definitely not getting him. Who just got taken? Patrick Mahomes. Yep, there he goes. Like I said, uh, just able to read the minds of my uh, my teammates or my enemy combatants. <laughs> Down goes Mahomes. I'm saying Hertz goes with these guys too in one of these two picks. Uh, I don't know. This is tough. I don't think I'm going to reach for Lamar Jackson. Last year, I had Justin Herbert on my team, and that bit me in the ass. I don't like that this year. Damn. Your team is now on the clock. So it's my pick. He goes with Jalen Hurts. Amari Cooper gets taken. So like I said, the three went out in that turn. Two out of the three choices. Amari Cooper gets taken. I like that choice. Uh, good sleeper wide receiver. Quarterbacks are getting taken now. I don't know if I go ahead and get mine. Lamar Jackson could be the move. Uh, I'm honestly kind of feeling risky. I feel like I kind of want to see what they would take. I don't know what I'm feeling. I think I'm going to reach and go with Najee because I'm a Steelers fan. Uh, you know, he had a great year. We got a buff on our offensive line. So I feel like Najee Harris could turn it around and have a better season this year. 
So I'm going to go with Najee. Get my second back out of the way. See what they do here. I'm, you know, I definitely I think two quarterbacks are going to go right here. It's tough right here. Uh, I don't know. You know, Lamar Jackson could have a year. Uh, Justin Fields could turn it up. You know, he's looking promising. But I don't, I'm definitely not going for, where's Ridley at? He already got drafted. Calvin Ridley, uh, where did he get drafted at? Right here. He got, he was a third round pick. I passed on him. I chose, I chose DK Metcalf over him. I, 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 uh, I don't, I really don't like Calvin Ridley. Miles Sanders gets taken. Uh, he could dog on Carolina. Um, I had him last season. He sold me at the very end, and then he, and then after he sold me, uh, my championship, uh, he said something in the press. He said, "I don't care about your guys' fantasy points. I like, or I don't care about performing for your fantasy points. I want the team to win, which is great. You know, you want a team oriented player, but at the same time, like, I want to drive running backs that like." Are passionate about are passionate about running the ball. So I want somebody that's gonna want the ball always in their hands. They're confident with their abilities. You know, they're a team player, but also they know that the, what they can bring to the team is very powerful. Miles Sanders, not that guy to me. So that might be a reach for Gary right here. I mean, he's got McCaffrey. Uh, I think he's got some reaches on his last two picks. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm still thinking that Wo Aces uh, has the best looking team. Loki a steal from Ridley. I just don't. I really don't like Ridley. Uh, I was looking at some others. I was looking at Kenneth Walker. Uh, he ended up getting taken. I was looking at Debo. T Higgins is nice, but uh, I already have Jamar Chase, and they share the same bye week, so I didn't want to do. I didn't want to do that to myself. Alexander gets take. Alexander Madison gets taken. Sleeper running back. Gonna have a great year this year. He's gonna be explosive. I like that pick from Maps. Maps also has a back to back pick. He's two running backs, two wide receivers. I'm guessing we get a quarterback out of him right now. Could be wrong. He could reach for something else, though. Could He could uh, go for the another wide receiver or another running back. I'm thinking I'm going to go quarterback. The problem is, chat, what quarterback What quarterback do I take? I don't think I really like Lamar Jackson. I feel like I go Joe Burrow. You know, And if I don't, I could wait. I could wait and you know deal with these quarterbacks. I could honestly wait on a quarterback. But the quarterbacks are definitely, I feel like, about to start flying. You know, the top three just got taken. We just had, we just lost, uh, we just lost Mahomes. We lost Allen. We lost Hurts. Uh, Joe Burrow uh, is going to be good. I don't think Lamar has that explosive year. And I, he's just so injury prone that I don't really want to deal with him. There he goes. So there's Lamar Jackson. Some Lamar Jackson's down. So right now we got Justin Fields, Justin Herbert I had last year, and he was not it. So if Joe Burrow doesn't get taken right here, I think I'm taking him. I think I'm going Joe Burrow. Get Jameer Gibbs trust? I don't know, dude. I actually don't. I actually think he's already taken. Yeah, he's already taken. He's already taken. Uh, He got taken. He got taken up here. I think he'll be good. Your uh, team is now reach. on Justin the clock. Fields gets taken. Chat. Joe Joe Burrow. Yeah, yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Chad, I'm thinking Joe Burrow. I already got two running backs. I got two wide receivers. You know, I could get another back or another wide receiver. This is tough. This is tough. Still plenty of options. Plenty of options. Uh, running backs are start, starting to go away. So it's getting scary. Bit of a reach. Bit of a reach. Geno Smith later round. Joe Burrow. I'm kind of thinking Joe Burrow too. I don't mind the Geno Smith though. Like there's a lot of potential in quarterbacks right here. I'm honestly thinking we go running back chat. We could, we could, we could wait and not go Joe Burrow. We could, there's plenty of backs or plenty of quarterbacks we could deal with later. I'm thinking Ramondre Stevenson. Uh, not Brees Saul, Jonathan Taylor. Like we don't, I just don't know what's going to happen with them this year. What pick was what pick was I three? Damn, Chad. I think I'm gonna go with Mon Ramondre. By week seven, by week eleven, I'm gonna go with Ramondre Steven Stevenson. 
Going with Madre. I think that's the move. I think it's the move to wait for a quarterback. That's tough. That's tough. I don't want I don't want Jonathan Taylor. Jamal Williams could. I mean, he had a great season last year. He he probably is gonna a ball into that Denver. DeAndre Swift later round two. Yeah, he's getting down here. So we got we got three backs though. That's the thing. So we got three running backs right now. We got Nick Chubb, Najee Harris, and Ramondre Stevenson. Keenan Allen gets taken off the board in the fifth round. We got a total of five quarterbacks down. Honestly, I think, you know, let's see. What do we got? So we got we got five, five teams without a quarterback, right? Based on the QB, we still got Burrow, Herbert, Trevor Lawrence. Honestly, Trevor Lawrence is probably going to be the move. I'm not falling for the Watson crap. I like Geno Smith, Dak Prescott down here. I think that could be smart. I think I'm going to go with Trevor Lawrence. I think Trevor, I think the Jaguars are going to have a phenomenal season this year. I got the Jags going to the Super Bowl. All right, so Joe's going for Herbert. I didn't want to do this this year. I, I had Herbert on my team last year, and I was just angry. I like, I want my, I want my quarterback putting up at least 20 points a game. Herbert did not do that for me. He was putting up 10, 15, and sometimes less. Sometimes it was like eight, and sometimes it was just really bad. I didn't like Herbert last year on my team. He definitely sold me. It was a rough go about, and I don't want him. Uh, so right now, we got a little comfort in our backs. Ramondre Stevenson's good, and the team sucks. Get the Niners defense. I'm not really worried about Mike Evans' jersey. Yes, yes. I'm not really, really, uh, I'm not really worried about defense right now. That's going to go way later. I do like Niners defense, but like, it's going to go way later. James Conner, great pick right here. I was debating this too. I was debating on going for uh, James Conner. But, and it's it's tough because like he's an old Steeler head and, you know, I got I got love for him. But I think Ramondre is going to have a better season than him. I could be wrong. I could be, I could be right, you know. We'll, we'll have to see. If not, I got some depth right here and still a lot of options on wide receiver. And now we have a total of three other people without a quarterback. And I'm liking it. Geno gone? Damn. No, he's not. Geno, Geno Smith's still in there. Geno Smith is still in there. Chris Godwin gets taken. Let's see how Tampa Bay does. Tampa Bay is scary to me. You know, they could perform this year. There goes Joe Burrow. That's It was tough to not taken but I gotta do what I gotta do you know I, I I didn't want to go for a quarterback yet I think I got time I think I got time on a quarterback unless somebody wants to be ballsy and like double up on their QBs I mean then you could like have trade value or something like that you know if it gets desperate but we'll see how it goes Joe Burrow was tough to pass on but I just wanted more depth and I feel like I'd get a just good quarterback later No, Doyle's not in this. This is uh, this is my league I do every year with Woa Maps and Woa Aces. So Woa a Woa Maps is a uh, gritty time, and then Woa Aces is uh, Aces team. Uh, shout out Woa Aces. Shout out Woa Maps. Go follow them on Twitch. They're uh, good streamers. Good good seed streamers. Let's see what Aces does, cause like based off the first four rounds, he's got the best team in my opinion. I'm calling it. He goes for Dak Prescott right here. He could, he might not though. He might not go for a quarterback. But my feeling is that he goes for Dak. He loves Dak Prescott, dude. I got him going Dak Prescott. He might not though. When was St. Brown taken? He got taken a uh, second round. He got taken second round too. On the board, chat. On the board, on the board. Right now, we got Jamar Chase, Nick Chubb, DK Metcalf, Najee Harris, and Ramondre Stevenson. So we got three backs, two wide receivers. Debating how this goes, I might go for another wide receiver. Uh, which, actually, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go for a wide receiver on my next pick. And here's why. Because they just chose two uh, QBs right here. So I feel like 
for me to pick a QB only gives them more options for a running back or wide receiver or tight end or whatever. He's going to get so many targets week one. Uh, who are you talking about? St. Brown? Yeah, I think St. Brown's going to do. Yeah, I mean, I think the, the tough teams right now are going to be uh, this one right here and this one right here. I think these are the two worst teams, in my opinion, right there. I thought I that's just my opinion. I mean, maybe not, though, to be honest. Like, rookie, don't know exactly what he's going to do. Probably promising, though. Jalen Hurts is Jalen Hurts. Keenan Allen, eh. When he performs, he performs. And then he's hurt, he's hurt, you know? Uh, Amonse Brown, you know, he's going to dog. Kelsey was just a reach for me. He's only got one running back right now. And that's kind of tough. Miles Sanders, I don't like to pick Miles Sanders. I don't like reaching for Justin Fields this early. He's he he might dog, he might, but I don't I don't know. Did I get a QB? No, I have not. I have not. I think I'm gonna wait until my next pick because right after me, they have already picked QB, so they're not gonna. I know they're not gonna draft a quarterback, right? So I think I'm gonna make sure I get a uh, a receiver off the bat. I still got aces. Damn, he got he got Trevor Lawrence. All right, I like it. Aces. I thought he, I had him going Dak Prescott. To be honest, he's a big Dak guy. Uh, Trevor Lawrence is a great pick. I think uh, top tier pick. He belongs up with these three guys right here. I think I think Trevor Lawrence outperforms Lamar Jackson, Justin Fields, Justin Herbert, maybe Joe Burrow. I don't know about that. Trevor Lawrence is gonna have a great season. I got the Jags doing good. So it's me and uh, Ryan over here. We're the only two people without quarterbacks right now giving me the options of what we got on the board right here. So I might reach for Geno Smith, but maybe not. I probably will end up going with Dak Prescott. Um, I'm not going to Sean Watson. I mean, it's not a terrible pick. Richardson's a leap. He's a rookie. I don't, I, I, they got him high up there, but I don't, I don't think that's going to be it for me. Two, is, two attack of love is scary. And there he goes. Anthony Richardson's taken. Wow. Wow. That's tough. Damn. Are we like... Chat, how are we feeling about Deshaun Watson? How are we feeling about him? Michael Pittman off the board. We got a lot of Colts fans in this uh, in this draft. And I feel like that one was a reach. I feel like Michael Pittman might have been a reach. But maybe not. Chat, how are we feeling about uh, Deshaun Watson though? Bad? Feeling bad about Deshaun Watson? I think... Well, Doyle wants me on... He wants me on Gino. Two attack love is scary. Rodgers is interesting because, like... I mean, he's Aaron Rodgers. And Jets... Jets offense looking good. Jets offense looking good. And Rodgers could perform. But Dak is Dak. So... I think, hmm, it's between Dak Prescott, Dak Prescott, Geno Smith, or Aaron Rodgers as my quarterback. That's that's what I'm thinking, and I'm probably gonna go Dak. Daniel Jones had a great season last year too, to be honest. Darren Waller off the board, so that's our third tight end getting taken. Aaron Rodgers is available. Yes, Aaron Rodgers is still available. Too many. I don't blame him though. Like to be honest, a uh, lot of lot of quarterbacks taken. Anthony Richardson was a reach. Anthony Richardson is the biggest reach on this board for quarterbacks, in my opinion. Golf underrated. I'm definitely not looking for golf on my fantasy team. Uh, underrated, maybe, maybe. Definitely not reaching for him. I know you're a Lions fan, but nah, not for fantasy dog. Uh, he's not he's not high enough to be on that. Maybe as a backup, and that's a maybe. Rogers, Rogers, Rogers are fucking Dak, bro. I don't know, dude. That's tough. I think I'm gonna go with Dak Prescott. 
To be honest, you know who I got for the Super Bowl is I got Jags. I got Jags and Cowboys. Jags versus Cowboys. That's what I got for Super Bowl. Cowboys, a little more expected. Jags come up and going to go. Brees Hall gets taken. He's going to be sharing the backfield with Dalvin Cook. Not sure how that's going to go. Dalvin Cook's still available as well. Uh, not sure what to do here. I'm definitely going to go for a receiver right now. And I think I'm going to go DeAndre Hopkins. People are sleeping on D-Hop. And I'm, I'm going for him if he's not taken. Two Lions players back-to-back -back is dumb. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that would be a... Uh, I don't know about that. Because Amante Brown and Gibbs are going to dog, you know? I think that's a good choice. I don't I don't dislike these two choice choices. However, he needs a back. He needs a running back desperately, dude. He has one running back, and we're in the sixth round. So he's definitely sleeping. I mean, there's still options. Uh, I don't know what he's going to do. But I, he needs he needs to get a running back. He needs a second string running back. Yeah, I think I'm going DeAndre Hopkins. DeAndre Hopkins has shown no reason why he won't perform. Uh, and I got him dogging in Tennessee. I, th I think he's a weapon there. I think he's going to be good. Your team is now on the clock. Swift gets taken. So Swift just gets taken. I think that's a great pick. I think he's going to do good in Philadelphia. I'm really liking D-Hop. So I think that's my move. I think in DeAndre Hopkins is the move. Looking at options, you know... Deontay Johnson did not perform well last year. Uh, so I don't really want him on my team, even though I'm a Steelers fan. I hope he does great. No, I hope I hope he performs uh, well this year. But I think Diop is the move, to be honest. Diop was fucking uh, whatever. He was like disqualified, not allowed to play for like the first eight weeks. Came back and he still made it to like the top of the leaderboard. I think he was like top 15, top 20, which is impressive. I, I think that's the move. You're saying Watson? I'm gonna stay away from Green Bay. I don't really like them this year. I'm thinking I'm thinking Hopkins balls in Tennessee. That's that's my pick. I like him. I like I like D Hop. I think he's gonna be a sleeper pick. I could be wrong. He's shown no reason why he's not gonna do good to me though. They're a little rough on the quarterback situation, but I mean he's he's an all star, he's a he's he's an all Madden player. He's a great wide receiver, one of the best. One of the best. You can't you can't turn your back on Diop. You can never 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 forget who's gonna be trying to run routes on you, and that's DeAndre Hopkins. And I think that's a great pick. And now, like the question is, is do I even get a uh, do I even get a QB? Everybody has a QB, you know. That's the thing. Has DJ Moore been taken? Yes, I think he has. Yeah, yeah, he's been taken. Uh, I don't know who got him. Let's see. DJ Moore, DJ Moore, DJ Moore. Where did you go? I feel like you went somewhere around here. Yeah, right there he is, right here. He went in the fifth round. Three picks away. So we got Terry McLaurin going off the board. So that's his second wide receiver. So not a lot of strength on the wide receiver situation. Terry McLaurin, though, not a bad pickup. Uh, Waddle. Great running or get great wide receivers still sharing the load with Tyreek Hill, but proved not to be a problem last season. They both put up a shit ton of points. Maps going with J.K. Dobbins. Okay, so Maps has a lot of depth on his running back. I like the reach on Jones. I think that's good. I like the reach on Alexander Madison. J.K. Dobbins. I don't know if that was the right call, but not bad. It's not bad. Gritty time is winning. LOL. Maybe. I think the best team right now is Aces. Aces has C.D. Lamb, Debo Samuel, Mike Williams. Those are fucking incredible wide receivers. Not to mention, Kenneth Walker is an X-Factor. He dogged last year. And if he does what he did last year, this is a great pick. Saquon, if he does what he did last year, great fucking pick. Trevor Lawrence is the sleeper QB. I can't believe Trevor Lawrence actually kind of... I feel like they slept on Trevor. I like Aces picking Trevor Lawrence. I think that's a great pick. I think Aces has the best team uh, going so far. I mean, I got to hype myself up uh, and believe that I'm the best team. But based off everybody else, I like Aces team. Well, Aces has a great team. There goes Watson. I don't know what I do here, bro. 
Your team is now on the clock. Christian Kirk gets taken. All right, so we got three wide receivers, three running backs. We don't have a quarterback, but nobody else has a quarterback. Um, This is tough. I could get some more depth. But I think I'll wait. I don't think I'll go for a wide receiver. Hawkinson is a good pick. Kyle Pitts is a good pick. George Kittle, you know, has a little more injury prone. But I feel like I might go with Hawkinson. I feel like that might be the move. I feel like it's time to start drafting tight ends. He's questionable. Let's read what he got. Full of practice participant. And is on track to play week one. I feel like Hawkinson is the move. Take Fields. Fields is already taken. I'm not worried about the quarterback. So everybody else has a quarterback. So I know they're not going to be quarterbacks. And if they do, like they're reaching and they're, you know, they're just getting their depth. And even then, I still kind of have options. I feel like I'm going with Hawkinson. Get, get, go ahead and get my tight end. I got three backs. I got three running backs. We're going to wait on our QB. Uh, I, tight ends, you know, they got to start going eventually. That's the, that's the fourth tight end that's been taken. Travis Kelsey went first round. We got Mark Andrews going third round. Darren Waller just went last round. Uh, and I just picked Hawkinson. And Hawkinson is a dog, dude. You know, always been a great, or always been a great tight end. I, I think that's a good pick. Rashad White. I don't know how I feel about that pick. I don't know how I feel about Rashad White. I feel like he had better options. Jonathan Taylor is still there. But like the problem is, is we don't know what to expect out of Jonathan Taylor. And it's just tough. I mean, I feel like he's definitely going to go soon, you know. But it's tough. It's tough. Tyler Lockett going off the board. Tyler Lockett, dog player. I feel like he's highly underestimated every season for what he's worth. Um, honestly, a sleeper wide receiver I want to get is George Pickens on the Steelers. I think he's going to be wide receiver one over Deontay Johnson. Uh, I love George Pickens. He's down here. He might he might get slept on, so I might wait. Uh, still a lot of options. Still a lot of options, but I like George Pickens. JT should go two to three last rounds. I bet he gets taken sooner than that. That's a lot of picks for JT to not get taken. I think Jonathan Taylor definitely definitely gets taken. You know, he's got some problems with the Colts, but the reality is, is if he if he wants to uh, you know keep getting paid to be great and he doesn't lead the Colts, he's gonna have to perform on the field. Uh, he had an injury last season, so obviously that hurt his stats. Uh, and now if he like you know, doesn't perform well this season. It's only going to hurt him and he's not going to get that money that he wants. So all in all, if he plays, like he's got to perform. Uh, I just don't know what, what he, you know, what he's looking at, but I mean, JT is JT. He's still a good running back, but he is, he did have that injury last year, which is scary. Dallas Goddard getting taken off the board from Philadelphia. So that's our sixth, sixth tight end getting taken. No, no, fifth tight end, fifth tight end. So now five teams are without tight ends. I still am without my QB. Seven rounds in, and we don't have a QB. Seven rounds in, we still have great options. We got Aaron Rodgers. We still have Dak Prescott, Geno Smith, Deshaun Watson, and from feeling frisky. Jamal Williams, I like this pick. Jamal Williams, bald on the Lions last year, putting up great numbers. If you had uh, Swift last year, it just... Made you upset because Jamal Williams was scoring, scoring, and getting you points. Jamal Williams on Denver, I like it. I think uh, that's a good pick. Good sleeper pick. Especially, uh, uh, they got Pollard and Joe Mixon already, so that's just more depth, honestly. Receivers are Cooper Cup and Chris Godwin. Honestly, maybe he could have gotten a receiver, though. It's tough, but I like that pick. I think that's a good, good running back option. If you're going to choose a running back, I feel like that's a great option. As for him, should he maybe have chose, chose a wide receiver? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Because I feel like your receivers are great, but they have risk. 
These are risk receivers. If you know when they're there, they're there, and when they're not, it hurts because you know you 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 drafted them high. But there's still plenty of options. Plenty of options. Colts want him because he'd be a great help for Richardson. Yeah, but like at the same time, like they got they got backups that are just like willing to do the work. Same thing with Dalvin Cook. Like that's why I like I like uh Wola Maps with Alexander Madison. Like Dalvin Cook would get injured, Madison would get on the field and perform. Like they didn't need to give Dalvin the bag because Alexander Madison is a go. And that's why like it's tough. Like, yes, running running backs win games, but the problem is is there's so much depth in running backs right now that everybody can have a good running back pretty much that you don't need to pay for an all-star because there's somebody else on the backup line that's just as good that will want will that will want to start for the less money, you know? So I mean I I, I think JT's a great player, but like they the Colts don't need him. George Kittle and Kyle Pitts get taken off the board. Like I said, I feel like Hawkinson was the right pick. I knew tight ends were going to start kind of going. We needed to get the tight ends going. Uh, the only thing they didn't really think about is that this is why I played it smart with my QB. Is uh, It was nice when we picked tight end now because I knew they were going to start going. But like right here, I don't know if he needed to get a tight end because like, you know, everybody else got one. So you kind of could have waited. Uh, we got, uh, let's see, one. To, we had three, so with three other teams now that needed tight end, so I probably still would have picked the tight end there. Kittle's a good pick. Hopefully he stays healthy. I still like Ace's team. Ace's always has a great team, dude. He always does. And uh, he, he he's doing good right now. I like Ace's team. I, I stick, I'm sticking with it. Ace's has the best team compared to everybody right now. Not including myself. Yeah, I like Ace's team a lot. We do need to get a quarterback eventually, but it is scary. We do want our depth. What do we got? We got... Uh, no, no, no. How do I go to just like my... I don't know. I kind of wanted to see the lineup. Adaptive draft rank. I don't know what that is. I don't know why I can't just see my... Like it says draft log, but why? On my phone, I don't know how to do it, but it doesn't. I don't know how to do it. I just want to see like my lineup, you know, kind of get a better idea because I'll just keep drafting good players, you know, because we're gonna need a kicker and a defense eventually. But we'll probably get that down here. We're probably gonna get kicker and defense last two picks, so we definitely need to get our QB. Dawson Schultz gets taken, so now we got two teams without a tight end. Still great tight ends left. Uh, if nobody picks Firemuth, I think that's crazy. Then Joku and Firemuth would be my uh, my choices. Uh, but maybe Evan Ingram. This is tough. So what do we got? We got three wide receivers, three running backs, and a tight end. We still got to get a quarterback. I'm not sure what to do on the quarterback situation. I feel like you know it's Dak Dak or Rogers. Uh, Oh, that's Jamal Williams. Who was I thinking of right here? Javante Williams. Never mind. That's a reach. They shouldn't have picked that. Jamal Williams is a way better pick. I think Jamal Williams is a good pick, even with Kamara there. Uh, this is tough. Marquise Brown could be a sleeper. You know, now that... uh. Now that uh, Devontae Adams isn't there anymore. Justin Tup Tucker, snipe him. No. 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 No, no. Not getting Justin Tucker. That is, he is good in Madden, but he, he doesn't like perform on, like his, you got to think about numbers for fantasy points, you know? Just because he's skilled, it's like how often is he kicking field goals for the team? Like what team is not scoring touchdowns and what team is constantly having to kick field goals? That's what you have to think about for fantasy. And I'm also just not going to reach. I want depth on my team. And kickers are an expense I can afford.
Same thing with defense. You know, you, the, it's nice to have a good defense. I'll probably pick a defense of team before I pick my kicker. Kicker's probably going to be the last uh, choice I, I pick. Foops Troops on the board. Damn, chat. Brandon Ayuk, Marquise Brown. This is tough. David Montgomery is going to be sharing the field a lot. I don't really need a running back right now, dude. This is tough. I like depth on some wide receivers just in case somebody doesn't perform. Drake London's still there. Your team is now on the Brandon clock. Brandon IU gets taken. Chat. Damn, this is hard. This is hard. How fantasy points work. So basically, every time a single player scores a touchdown, it's six points. And it adds up for every player. So, And if they if they uh, run one yard, they get point .10. And if they catch the ball, it's uh, one point And then one point for every yard they run with the receiving ball. Um, damn, this is tough. I'm gonna go get. I'm gonna go ahead and get my QB, dude. I'm. I'm not. I'm not sure what I want to do. There's some great options. I'm gonna go ahead and get Dak. You know, I mean, they got they got Trey Lance going over there, but I don't think that's gonna affect Dak Prescott. I think he's gonna be just fine. I I don't know what that move is. They got depth now in case Dak gets hurt, but uh, I like that. I'm gonna go Dak. I didn't I didn't draft my quarterback to the eighth round, and I feel like that's good. And I still got Rodgers available if I want to get him as a backup, unless somebody else takes him. Deontay Johnson gets taken off the board. Had a rough season last year. Maps going with this tight end, Njoku. Only team without a tight end right now is nobody. Everybody's got a tight end. Okay. Everybody's got a tight end right now. CJ Stroud over Dak Prescott? Dude, I don't know. I don't know about that. Maybe. That's just a reach. I want I want somebody I know who's going to perform and has an offense around them. And I mean, honestly, that's Dak Prescott. Three running backs, three wide receivers. Maps has three running backs, three wide receivers. He's in the same predicament as me, man. This is tough. It's tough to choose like what you want to start adding depth to. Drake London's still there, and that might be a good pick, to be honest. Running backs are kind of spent. I mean, Dalvin Cook is Dalvin Cook, though. James Cook. I don't even know what the backfield is looking like for. He's going with Marquise Brown. I like it, dude. Marquise Brown's probably going to have a good season. I think that's a good choice. tough the stuff your team is now on the clock oh, the colors you pick too the colors stand for uh there goes Dalvin. Colors to stand for what position? So yellow is wide receiver. Uh, red is running back. Blue is QB. Green is tight end. Chad, I think I got to go with Drake London, right? But this is tough, you know.
This is tough. I'll go Drake London. This is tough. This is tough. So right now, uh, what's probably going to happen, I'll get a running back right here. I'll get another wide receiver. QB. Tight end. Kicker defense. It's probably what's going to end up happening for me. No defense has gone off the board yet. I feel like that's going to change soon. Maybe not, though. Maybe not. We'll see. I already have a pick I really want on my team just because, you know, I got to have it. As for another running back, I don't really know what I want to do right here. We could take a reach with Cook, but I might just go for AJ Dillon. Who just got taken? David Montgomery gets taken. This is tough. Uh, not. I don't really like the choice. I mean, he's got depth, but you just dra he just drafted David Montgomery, and he's already got Gibbs, so he's got both running backs for Detroit. Don't like the Dak pick? You want me to pick Geno Smith, huh? I don't... Dude, that could just be a fluke, though. I don't know if Seattle's going to, like, you know, keep that up. I don't know if Geno's going to do what he did last year. Same thing with Daniel Jones. I don't know if Daniel Jones does what he did last year. But, to be honest, I don't know. I picked up Daniel Jones, uh, and he, he, you know, he was balling last year. Uh, he actually played better than Herbert. So there goes Cook. So here goes the running backs. Uh, I still have depth on my running backs. I have three. I'm probably going to not put him in the slot anyway. I might start Diop in my slot. Week one. We'll see. It'll be tough, but I think I might do that. Mixing it up on the clock. This is tough, David. I feel like I probably should draft the running back, but maybe not. I don't really know what I get. I could just get Alvin Kamara low-key. I can't remember well, how long is he suspended. It's is it? I don't see a uh, suspension. I probably won't get Kamara. I don't think he's out for the whole season, is he? Aces team on the board. Let's see how Aces does. Juju Smith-Schuster on the Patriots. Damn it! It was tough, dude. I almost wanted to reach for him. I like George Pickens. I like this pick from Isaiah. I honestly might even try to trade Drake London for George Pickens. That's tough. That's honestly who I was hoping to get. I was hoping they weren't going to go for him. Oh, you picked Jerry Judy? I, I think George Pickens has a better season than Jerry Judy, to be honest. I like that pick. George Pickens is going to ball this year, dude. Don't sleep on my Steelers. Don't sleep on George Pickens. That's NFL young boy. He's going to dog. Damn. There goes Alvin Kamara. Hmm. 
There goes the first defense, 49ers defense off the board. First player to get a defensive team. I like it. It's time to start thinking like that. I don't know what I want to do. I was really hoping to get George Pickens, and that was going to be it for my receivers. Uh, I debated on reaching him for him, but I went for Drake London. Tried to make sure I wasn't playing favorites. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my backup QB and tight end. I think that's the move. What's Dak's bye week? Bye week seven. Rodgers has bye week seven, so I can't pick Rodgers. So we're going with Geno Smith. Or Daniel Jones. <sighs> this is tough, bro. I don't know if I go with Daniel Jones or Geno as my backup. Okay, Biz, I appreciate the follow. I mean, not a lot of picks left, bro, and everything's starting to get burnt out. I feel like uh, I just go ahead and snag my backup QB and tight end before everybody else does. I feel like that's the move. Which I think I'll take my tight end first. Wait, let me, uh, what tight end, or what, what's Hawkinson's by? Week 13. I think I'm good. I'm probably, because I'm going to go Friar Wraith, probably. I think that's the move. See what he does. Your team is now on the I mean, clock. Yeah, I don't like that pick, but I mean, what 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 more to do at this point? Going with Fryermuth. Get my backup tight end off the bat. Fryermuth's young. He's a dog. I like him. He's a good backup. Damn, I'm kind of shitty. I didn't get George Pickens, bro. Eagles defense goes. So 49ers and Eagles defense is gone. I don't know if I'll get my defense yet either. Let's see what Woe Maps does. What are we? 10, ten picks in? Five more to go. Going with the Giants wide receiver, Jalen Hyatt. He's got a back-to-back -back pick. Let's see what he does. So Maps, right now, his depth is pretty damn good on wide receivers. He's got five wide receivers. I think I have a good... What do I got? I got four wide receivers. So a little less depth. I only got three running backs. Everybody started going crazy on these running backs. And uh, I don't know... If, what the move is. Uh, Addison might be worth it just for my fourth, my fourth string.
getting getting into the kind of sleeper sleeper nitty gritty rounds. More like hopeful depth. I mean, Rogers is still on the board. I feel like uh, it's good backup. If I'm maps, I'm, I'm picking. If I'm maps, I'm picking quarterback Deion Jackson. Interesting. Not a bad pick. I mean, he's a dog. He's a dog. But it's just Jonathan Taylor, him, and Zach Moss. So I just don't know. I don't really know what to expect out of that. But I don't hate the pick. I don't hate the pick. I think I am going to go with uh, Jordan Addison. I mean, he's, what, third string? Or no, he's... Oh, this year. So he's new. I thought, I thought he was last year. Let's see what Gary does here. Your team is now on the clock. Sean Watson. He's going for his backup quarterback. So he's got Justin Fields and Deshaun Watson. I like it. Uh, tough, 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 tough. Uh, Hmm. I'm going Daniel Jones over Geno Smith. Odoyle's gonna hate it. I like Daniel Jones. I think he's got some potential. He showed a lot of promise last year. I don't know if Geno's gonna be able to do what he did last year. We'll see. Hopefully, it doesn't bite me in the ass. So we got four more picks, two of which we got to do defense. Uh, Damn, I forgot about Odell, dude. There goes Patriots defense. That's the defense I was just clicking on and think nobody's going to pick him. But they went for the Patriots. It's getting tough. Down to the nitty gritty. Getting tough, getting tough. Man, Ace's team, dude, has so much depth. Depth, especially if uh, Jonathan Taylor uh, ends up like saying, "Okay, Colts, I'm ready to settle our shit and be the best." Like people were drafting him number one last season, and he went in the eighth round. A lot of drama around him, and that's why. But it's still scary, you know. That could turn out to be a uh, huge, huge draft pick. There goes Gibson. So the two I literally just tagged just got taken. This is tough. Everybody's starting to slow down for sure, too. 
Everybody's slowing down on their picks, trying to make the right decision. Start at 9 o'clock. We're about an hour 30 in. Kirk Cousins, backup QB. Nope. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if I like Kirk Cousins as the backup. I mean, not terrible, but like Rodgers is still on the board. I feel like Rodgers is kind of getting slept on. There goes Michael Thomas. Could be a sleeper pick. Could have been a sleeper. There goes Addison. So Rob Wolves is going with Addison. I was checking him out. Decided not to go that route. Hmm. <laughs> There's just so much more depth. Maybe wide receiver wasn't the move, dude. Off the rip. I feel like I got a lot of depth on wide receiver. And there's still some like good ones I could get. Like where if you had to play a wide receiver, you know, you could get some points. Russell Wilson over Rodgers? Russell Wilson over Aaron Rodgers. Interesting. I mean, honestly, Rodgers probably would have been a great pick. I forgot he picked Anthony Richardson off the rip. Uh, Rodgers probably would have been a better pick, in my opinion. I don't know about Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson could turn, to turn around. I mean, he's veteran. Veteran quarterback. Knows how to win games. Just had a terrible season last year. Put on a lot of weight, too. I don't know what defense I want, low-key. Probably end up going with my fucking Steelers. I like like to go for my team, my, my favorite team on defense, low-key. Tyler Higby going to be taken off the board. Got Dawson Schultz and Tyler Higby as their tight ends. This motherfucker back on the clock. Took George Pickens. Going to pick up another wide receiver. There goes our first kicker of the day, Daniel Carlson. First kicker of the day gets taken off the board. We got two teams picking a def Three teams have picked defense. Only one has picked a kicker. So getting that off early. Joey on the clock. Let's see what he does. Herbert could pro probably will do better than last season. If not, he's got risky uh, to attack Lova on his backup. Going with another wide receiver. Your team is now another on the wide clock. Receiver off the board. Chat, we're going to go ahead and uh, get Odell Beckham.
We're going to get Odell Beckham. He might perform in Baltimore. We'll see how it does. I know he wants to win a chip there. Uh, I don't know. If, I don't think the Ravens are going to go that far, but I think that's a good pick for round 12. Kind of a sleeper. I saw that Michael Thomas go, and I figured Odell was going to go with pretty soon. I just don't even know what to really draft now. I really don't know like who to pick. There goes Justin Tucker. One of probably the best kicker of all time. I don't know if he's that great for fantasy though. I feel like he's not one of them kickers that just like, whoa, they put up 20 points today. He averages about eight points, I feel like. Let me see. Let me see. Maybe not. Yeah. Pretty good. Slow down around here. 163 total. I mean, yeah. He's, I mean, he's, he's the best kicker of all time. Ezekiel Elliott getting taken off the board. Map still adding depth to his running back scenarios. I was looking at Zeke. I don't know. Uh, Your team is now on the clock. Running back getting taken off the bat right there. I think I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. I think I'm going to challenge Maps and just say fuck it. I'm going to pick Zach Moss. And just hope that he ends up getting more uh, shit over Deion Jackson. But I mean, I like Deion Jackson way better than Zach Moss, to be honest. But at this point, it's like, I don't even know what who the hell to draft. I got to get a defense and a kicker. That's that's my last two picks, defense kicker. That's what I called too. I said that's what I was gonna do. Gerald Everett is his backup over Kelsey. Okay, okay, okay. Who do who are we passing on for tight ends right now? This motherfucker is good, though. Jawan Johnson's good. This guy's promising. He's pretty young. Pretty sure he had a decent, decent shit going on. Hey, out a lot of weeks, though. Not a lot of promise there. Bill's defense going and taking my kicker that I was having my eye on got taken. I'll probably end up with the Steelers defense, to be honest. Ravens still available. Jets defense could be nice. <laughs> Chat, what defense you guys got? What defense you guys thinking? I like the Steelers. I mean, it's my favorite team. So that's probably why I, I'm going to choose them. I mean, they got a good defense. Sometimes, sometimes they fucking sell a bag.
Last three picks. And we're taking our time. I mean, it's getting tough. Hard, I mean, really just hard to pick. Nobody that's like super appetizing at this point. Um, yeah, that's probably what I was going to go with T-Bass. Another kicker gets taken. That's all about to just fly down right now. I can't believe Aaron Rodgers isn't getting picked up. That's crazy to me. Who uh, did not double up on QB? Two teams didn't double up on QB. I mean, so I would hope Rodgers gets taken. I don't want him to not, you know, get picked. Because I probably would have taken him over Daniel Jones, but they, he shared the same bye week as Dak Prescott. Then again, C.J. Stroud's still there. Steelers defense goes. Aces. Aces taking, taking the Steelers from me. Motherfucker. The motherfuckers see Steelers and they're like, oh, gotta take it from Von Housen. Oh, motherfucker. Fuck. Fuck, dude. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, hopefully C.J. Stroud or Aaron Rodgers gets taken right over here. Or maybe they'll go last. Golf. We going with Jared Golf. I don't know about that. I don't know about Jared Goff over that. I'm sure Tesla would like that shit, but I don't know about that, man. That's a tough choice. Come on. Two more picks left. Let's hurry it up. Speed it up. Need a defense and a kicker. Come on now. Your oh, team is now on the Jets. clock. Mother. Fuck. Marlo, what, what defense am I taking, bro? Marlo, let me know right now. What defense? What defense are you thinking, bro? Chat, what defense do I take? The two I wanted got taken. Ravens. Ravens. I guess I'll take the Ravens, dude. I guess. I mean, they, they're they always a good defense. I was hoping to get the Steelers or the Jets, but then they got taken. Now I need a kicker. They got every defense set. Yeah, it's probably a good pick. Alec Pierce getting taken deep. I like it. Could be a sleeper. Could, could be powerful. Powerful force. 
And then Woa Map's going to finish his two picks with McPherson and the Cowboys defense. So now we got to get our kicker. We just we got to get our kicker. Can't do anything else. I'm probably going to go with fucking Koo. Maybe Greg Joseph. Maybe Greg Joseph. Chad, what are we thinking? I'm thinking Greg Joseph, Loki, for our kicker. I don't know what they need. They already got a kicker and a defense, backup QB, uh, four running backs, good amount of depth and wide receivers. They need a backup tight end. That's what he needs. He needs a backup tight end. I don't know who he's picking. He, need, he needs one, but... Your team is now on the clock. Adam Thielen. He, I, I like it. Adam Thielen's a dog, bro. I like it. He doesn't have any depth on his, wide, uh, his tight end. He, he's going to have to drop somebody eventually for it. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I can't really do much right now. I just got to get a kicker. I'm going to go with Greg Joseph. Off the bat. That's it. That's my team. I'm done. Chat. We had the third pick in the draft. We cashed it in on Jamar Chase. We then proceeded to get Nick Chubb. DK Metcalf, Najee Harris. So our two starting backs are going to be Nick Chubb and Najee, and then Jamar Chase and DK Metcalf. And then we got a reach on Ramondre Stevenson, but I think he's going to perform well. A lot of people aren't really feeling D-Hop, but D-Hop is D-Hop, and I like that pick. So we got him as our third wide receiver. TJ Hawkinson is going to be our starting tight end. And, our, and then waited all the way to the eighth pick. We were the last team to pick our quarterback. We snagged Dak Prescott. And then we got Drake London. Pat Fryermuth as our backup tight end. Going to go ahead and pick up Daniel Jones as our backup QB. Uh, Aaron Rodgers never got drafted. He is still available. The reason I didn't pick him as a backup is because he shares uh, by week seven with Dak Prescott. So I like can't pick him up. Uh, but I could maybe drop him for Dak in the future or drop Dak for him in the future if I needed to. Uh, Odell, we're going to see what he does on the Ravens. Could be a sleeper pick. Maybe not. Maybe so. Zach Moss is going to be the backup for the Colts. We don't know what to expect with Jonathan Taylor. However, Deion Jackson is also back there, and he's a freaking beast. So I'm just going to ch kind of challenge maps on that running back situation. Then again, it's also my 13th pick. I just wasn't really sure what to do. A lot of the backs are getting taken. But I'm going to take a reach on that and try to challenge maps. Then we got Ravens, defense, and Greg Joseph as our kicker. Uh, looking forward to the season. Uh, going to game one. With maps, we're going to the Colts versus Jags week one, the 10th on Sunday, 1 o'clock. We're going to pregame, play some cornhole. It's going to be lit. Going to get to watch some of the players live, see what happens. And then besides, you know, my team, I always got to hype myself up and say my team is the best. I'm thinking Aces definitely killed this, killed this shit. Aces had a great, great draft. Saquon, C.D. Lamb, Kenneth Walker, Debo Samuel, Mike Williams, Trevor Lawrence, George Kittle, Jonathan Taylor, and then some sleepers down here. Stole my Steelers defense. I'm shitty that Isaiah took George Pickens from me. I probably, I was debating taking Pickens over Drake London. It was a tough choice. Uh, I kind of wish I went to stuck with my heart and chose my favorite team over, you know, Drake London. But I did what I did, and we're going to see how it works out. Uh, down to the last pick. Whoa, Aces. See what he does. See what he does. Uh, backup quarterback. Backup quarterback. Needs backup quarterback. Backup quarterback. He Thanks goes for CJ attending Strap. the NFL draft. Oh, he didn't have Best of luck pick. this season. So no backup quarterback from him. That's it. That's it, chat. GG's. 
Alrighty. Well, hopefully we have a good season. Thank you for tapping into the stream. I'm going to raid out. I'm going to raid out. Who should I raid? Who's on? I'm going to raid Frankie. Chad, tap into the raid. Go spam my emotes if you're a sub. If not, sub to get my emotes and no ads for the next video. Uh, I really want to get on Siege, but I'm just having Wi-Fi issues. Hoping to get it solved by Tuesday. Uh, in the meantime... Uh, I'll be streaming here and there, just not on Siege, till I get this Wi-Fi fix. Tap it in the raid. Uh, go hype Frankie up. Catch you later. Turn out the lights. Cool.